Quarter past eight. I don't know if this is a sign that we're finished with winter, but Michelle took down our outdoor ice rink over the weekend. Slash pool. <laughs> yeah. How many days you get out of it this year? Five. Yeah. Like all a in one week. Right? Yeah. five, and it was like 6 a.m. skates for my son. He had to get up and then <laughs> before the sun came up, skated before school, and then it was like back to you know water by the afternoon. Yeah, battled that for a... many years. It's always fun to do it, but you know yeah. we just haven't had a lot of cooperation with the temperatures. No, I mean this January, February, so mild, and now we're talking near record highs again today. We had a little snow Saturday morning, yeah. but look now, North Citrus, like what? It's what beach, winter? It's a beach day. <laughs> Let's take a look at the conditions outside this morning. We're almost back to 50 already in Providence. Normal high for the day is 46. We've topped that already in Smithfield. We're climbing out of the 30s in Taunton. Most spots, though, are in the 40s this morning, and we'll stay in the 40s during the nighttime hours tonight, too. So we are going to be tapping into some spring warmth during the next couple of days. Highs above 60 degrees both today and tomorrow. So it is a mild week all the way through Friday. We're looking at above average temperatures and no major storms. A couple of showers on Tuesday evening and then another chance for some showers on Friday. Let's take a look at the winds because this will definitely be part of the weather story today. They're out of the west and southwest this morning and about five to 10 miles per hour early on in the day, but the winds will pick up and they'll be off of the water. That's going to affect the coastal temperatures the most. So inland spots 9 a.m. You're into the lower 50s right around 50 at the shoreline. And then while inland spots climb into the 60s by lunchtime, it's tougher to hit that 60 degree mark at the shore. Now it doesn't mean that it won't happen. I do think Newport Westerly will hit highs between 55 and 60 degrees. New Bedford should climb into the lower 60s today, but the best shot at 70 degrees would be away from the coastline this afternoon. So let's take a look at those shoreline communities and the highs for the today with the time change will be pushed an hour later. So closer to about three or four o'clock in the afternoon for the highs at the shoreline. At that point, we're in the middle and upper 50s inland spots, mid 60s, Johnston, East Providence, Woonsocket, Burrowville, 65 degrees, West Greenwich and Foster well into the 60s and will be close to 70 for a time in Attleboro, Seekonk, mid to upper 60s, Fall River and New Bedford, upper 50s to low 60s. Then tonight, 50s early on, 8 o'clock in the evening, still at around 57 if you can believe it, 6 o'clock tomorrow morning upper 40s. Let's take a look at what's going to be affecting us next as far as any precipitation goes. High pressure that's keeping us dry and mild today will continue to slide east. It'll allow this frontal system to work its way eastward as well. Those showers will move up through the Midwest today. Clouds stay to the west of us during the evening hours overnight tonight. Just a little bit of extra cloudiness by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. We'll call for a partly sunny start to the day, but the clouds do win out and eventually some of those showers will move in, but timing wise looking pretty good for your Tuesday too. So school day should be dry in the evening hours. Scattered showers start to move through and they're with us into the early part of the night, but then coming to an end before to uh, Wednesday morning's commute. Seven day forecast. So mid and upper 60s today, low 60s for the high tomorrow with the best shot for showers after five or six o'clock in the evening. Then on Wednesday, highs in the middle 50s. Another chance for some increase in clouds, maybe sprinkle Wednesday evening or Wednesday night. Majority of the time looking dry as does Thursday, low 50s. Friday still above 50 degrees. Scattered showers on Friday, looking at less than a half an inch of rain from that system. And it does look like it'll taper off for Friday evening, allowing for some dry weather to be back for the upcoming weekend. It's the coolest of that seven day forecast. Saturday and Sunday's highs back into the 40s.